have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Six of Cups clarified by the Fool. Now the Six of Cups, it can be a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be, it can be. But not always connected with children, childhood. It's important not to spend too much time thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, Six of Cups is with the Fool. The Fool is an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know that children are trusting. And trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is considered a positive card in the tarot. But it's going to be important for you to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see, he's not. So... If you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yeah, because he's about to land into the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, that's all blue water below him. Maybe it's the Atlantic Ocean. So let's move on over. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about this recent past. I, I didn't give you my... I need, I need to give a little more clarification of it. About this recent past energy. Now, since it's, since it's with the Six of Cups clarified by the Fool, I'm picking up that for a lot of you Leos, you reconnected with someone that you used to be with. Because like I said, Six of Cups is about, it's about um, being nostalgic, looking back. Um, it can be about, the, re the it can um, signify the reappearance of an old lover. Yeah. Yeah, somebody that you had happy memories with. Somebody that you feel comfortable with. Somebody that you were very familiar with. And you made a lot of happy memories with this person. It looks like they made a comeback. Yeah, and it looks like... It looks like you were happy. You just jumped right on in there. You, you took a risk. You were ready for this. Yeah, you were you you was happy to see this person. You could have reached out to them, or they could have reached out to you. A lot of happy memories with this person. Why it ended, I don't know, but somebody made a comeback. Yeah, and you you were excited about it, like this fool. I don't know if you could see the. I'm not calling you a fool, but that's the name of the card. If you put your camera on full, you put the screen on full, F like Frank U-L-L, -L, if you put it on full, you can probably see the details of this fool's face. He's so happy. He just, wow, it's like something he's been waiting for, just ready to dive right on in there. And that's what you did. Somebody came back and it, it felt right. Somebody that you had a lot of happy memories with. And both of you were just like... 
like y'all was high off of some type of fantastic new drug. But anyway, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the two of pentacles, and that's with the seven of pentacles. Now, the two of pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind, so you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend when you get the two of pentacles. So you might have to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just maybe two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced, so be sure you're paying attention there. Now it's with the Seven of Pentacles, which can be a card about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, maybe figuratively, such as investments of time, effort and energy that you put into a relationship. You'll be reaping what you've sown. And this is positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things should be moving along really well. And you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future with a good cause. So, you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So you have to choose wisely. So yeah, coming up, Leo, for you and your person, two of pinkles, clarified by the seven of pinnacles. Yeah, so somebody um, has a lot going on. Your person could be um, living long distance from you. So it, sometimes it, it might make you feel like they're finding, they're having trouble finding energy for you. Or maybe this is you, the two of pentacles. You, you multitask, you got a lot going on. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because your person, they really want it to work. Or this could be the both of you really wanting it to work with the Seven of Pentacles down there. The Seven of Pentacles, the card below the word present. You see how she's watering the plant? She's had that plant ever since it was a little teeny tiny baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. She gets up every morning and every night and takes care of it. And it has grown about 10 feet tall. The leaves are dark in color. The leaves are rich and green, healthy. Big, strong plant now. Yeah. So she's reaping the rewards of all the work that she put into it. So yeah, this is what you want. And this is how your person feels. They really want this, so. They'll be putting in a lot of energy and effort to make it work. Even though you're you're always busy, sometimes they'll get the impression that you're having trouble finding time and energy for them. So you're multitasking. You maybe you've got two jobs. Maybe you've got three jobs. But Someone, you or your person, is being smart and realizing that if you feed it, just keep feeding it, then it will grow. So that's what somebody's doing. The roles can be switched. Don't forget that. It's not really, it's not really clear who's doing what. If they're busy and you're doing a lot of feeding to keep it together... But anyway, you two are kind of balancing each other out. Somebody's got a lot of work, and somebody's making sure that the two of you stay connected. 
Somebody could be long distance also. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the four. Is that, yeah, that's a four of pinnacles and the nine of wands. Okay, so the four of pinnacles, it can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy or, realist or realistic. So when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. The four of pinnacles can point to anxiety, fear, could be about money, or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. Now, the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Now, the Four of Pentacles is with the Nine of Wands. So when the Nine of Wands comes up in a reading, the first and the best step, it's often to take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take things one day at a time. One hour at a time if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries they will likely turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and try to pick it apart. Ask yourself what's the likelihood of the worry actually happening. Okay, so your challenge, Leo. Four pinnacles clarified by this nine of wands. Yeah, so, like I said, somebody made a comeback. You returned to somebody that you used to know, or they returned to you. It felt right. You just jumped right on in there. You were excited and eager to. You took a leap of faith that it would work this time. You do have a lot of happy memories. Yeah. So, somebody kept... You in their heart. And it looks like you probably kept them in there. Kept them in your heart also. The way that you're looking. And you just jump right on in there. So like I said you're busy. But the energy and effort is being put in. To keep the connection strong. Could be by you or your person. And then the challenge is four of pentacles. You could find out that your person has some bad, maybe some type of unhealthy habit. Like, I don't know, maybe they're, the four of pentacles, it can be about unhealthy clinging. Maybe they're just resistant to change. It could be that. Yeah. Or some type of unhealthy clinging, or you could find out that they're, they hold on too tight to money. They might try to breadcrumb you. So some type of, you know, unhealthy habit you could be finding out that you never knew they had. Yeah. So sometimes it could make you feel like this nine of wands. Sometimes it can make you feel like, hmm, it could give you maybe some type of worry. Worry about this this unhealthy habit that they have. Yeah. Because the Nine of Wands. It's interesting. The Nine of Wands. And it can be about. Nine of Wands is about worry. It's about not bulging. Not bulging. Um, not letting anyone get past. Your barricade. So, mm, yeah, so this might be something that, like I said, your person, you realize that they got some, they got an unhealthy habit or some type of habit that you didn't know they had or some new habit that they picked up. They didn't have it when you two were together before, but like I said, you could be finding out that they're like this four of pinnacles sometimes. They are resistant to change. 
they they cling on to you or certain situations too firm, too firmly. Um, they hold on too tight longer than is healthy or realistic to the connection or to certain things. Or you might find that they just, they might try to breadcrumb you in some kind of way. And you think it's unhealthy. And your person, they're resistant to change though. They're not budging. They'll probably be like, well, you take, you gotta take the good with the bad. They know that they've got this unhealthy habit and they're not changing. It's like trying to, trying to, what is that saying? Trying to teach an old dog new tricks, something like that. Yeah, your person knows. They're not budging. They're not going to let you come for them in any kind of way. They know they got some unhealthy habit. It's not like addictions or anything like that. It's just something that you could find annoying. Like just clinging on to you in an unhealthy way. You might find that they hold on to money too tight. Something like that. Nothing drastic. It's not like it's a devil card. The four of pinnacles is the card above the word challenge. That's your person. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the king of pinnacles. And it's with the nine of cups. Now the king of pinnacles. It's about success. Could be in money matters because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. When the king appears in the reading, it's a sign that it's not a time, it's not a good time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for actual person in your life, it could refer to a very masculine type. A masculine type. He could have dark hair, dark eyes. And if it's referring to an actual man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can, yes, absolutely trust. Trust absolutely. Now it's with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card is about happiness. Good things to come. It also can mean that you, well, it can mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. So, if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, your outcome, Leo. King of Pentacles, clarified by this Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a really good energy here. King of Pentacles, your person wants success with you. Yeah, the challenge is actually, it's nothing serious. This Four of Pentacles, it's something that the two of you will probably laugh at. The way you're realizing that this person has this new, well, has a habit that you, you probably find it funny. Because, like, let's go back to the challenge. The Four of Pentacles, if you look at the details of the Four of Pentacles, this unhealthy clinging, it's the current above the word challenge. This man, he's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money, his feet on his on his money. 
and his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. His brain looks like it's about to explode, and if a huge brick fell out of the sky and hit him on his head, he'd be in that same position. He'd probably bounce over, and then he'd bounce right back up on those pinnacles, just like he is now. So your person has a habit that you two probably find really funny. For now, you know, some habits can get stale and then it's no longer funny. But for now, since you two are so into this great comeback, and you two are so happy, yeah, but they're resistant to change. Your person's not going to change. Mm -mm. It's like I said, it's like trying to teach a, trying to teach a, a old dog new tricks. And they want success with you, Leo, because we got the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants success. King of Pentacles is good. They want to secure this connection with you. The King of Pentacles is about securing and making things committed king of pentacles is a good father very stable so this is this is something good that you've got here leo and you find this person to be a wish come true nine of pentacles nine of cups is a wish come true you got very strong desires for this person and you feel blessed the both of you feel blessed and satisfied to have each other so yeah, the, t the challenge for now is probably something that you two laugh about at night or in the daytime. Just by looking at this man's face of the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so I like the outcome. Yeah, you both are feeling very blessed and satisfied to have each other. That's what the Nine of Cups is there for. So yeah, so this sounds like a a happy return. Somebody came back for a lot of you, Leos. And boy, I like the way you, you just wanted to jump right on in there. You were so happy to hear from this person. It looks like it's turning out really good. So, Leo, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates as you know, general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well, staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person in the reading could be a friend, could be a family member. Maybe a situation, maybe a co-worker. Just take the readings for however it resonate. Also, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be your person or your person could be you. Yeah, take it for however it resonate because, like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Leo... I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. I'm wishing you happy holidays and take care.